Hello guys, what is up? It is me Rahul here. Today is the final game of of me for seeing the boss Bruins and we're going up again we're going into game three and to be quite honest with you guys please be sure to drop a like don't forget to subscribe and let's have a blast when we win this game 2018, 2019 classic jerseys. We're on their home um, rink. We're we're away. They're at home. It's time to win in monarch style, as I would like to put it at, because it is not that hard. It's definitely not that easy. <laughs> But hey, it is what it is. Pasternak, Nikita Lazarev, Patrice Bergeron, Nicholas Backstrom, you get the drill. Jeff Skinner, loses the puck, Pasternak gets it, passes it to DeBrusque. Now... Patrice first one goes offside. So the Bruins first line is DeBrusque, Bergeron, and Pasternak. We have, of course, per, no, not Patrice Bergeron, Nikita Lazar, Nicholas Backstrom, and Jeff Skinner. As you see right here. We're getting the big hits that we need <laughs> to show that we're not here to play tonight. So look right here. That was almost an own goal, but it wasn't. Next up, the lines are Gramlin, Kyle Connor, and Brock McGinn, which is a really good line. Yeah, so now Gramlin is up the ice. He tried to do a one-timer. At least I tried to do a one-timer. Went into Rosk and that happened. So, so now, yeah, Adam Larson gets the oak check. Does a body check. It's saving time. Now, um, he tries to go, score a goal along with him again. Next up, <laughs> that happens. Now Rosk saves it. Now Kyle Connor is trying to fight. I don't think that's going to happen because of Brad. Brad Bouchard. Brad Bouchard. Hmm. Krug. McAvoy. I will say about the future of most of the players is that they're good and look at that nope those those shots they could have been in that also should have been in but it wasn't so hmm. Pe Alex Spectrovic got that big hit <laughs> up the ice a poke check. Wanted to pass the puck back, but it was blocked. Now, they do this tactic where they put it around the ice. They pass it around the ice to save, but it was it's, it didn't work. And then I even tried to do that. No, not even tried. It didn't even work, so. Thankfully, it did not work. And that long range one timer. This is a problem I have. I do long range one timers. It doesn't work most of the time because, based on the circumstances, 
Oh my god. Derek Forber had like a breakaway. Yeah, it didn't work. Then a stick infraction happens. Okay. That is um interesting. To be quite honest. So now our power play team is not getting a goal. And by the way, that was another. That was actually interference. So now it's a 5 on 3. And you know how I feel about 5 on 3s. 5 on 4s and 5 on 3s are okay. But I don't even think we're good defensively. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Alright, so that's Kirill Mikhanov, by the way. Who is score who is actually on the power play, believe it or not, with Derek Forbert. And that was an odd man rush. And thankfully, we defended it quite nicely. That's nothing wrong with that, is it? And that was almost a, I guess, an attempt at a one time where it wasn't. Nozin gets his, like, like, his poke check. And now Nozin. Doesn't get like an opportunity. Pasternak. <laughs> Bam. And then that's bad discipline. So I even had to look at this. Just to check what's going on. Derek Forber. Like. Got a game conduct. For charging at Patrice Bergeron. Here's the thing, and I'm gonna say this, I was a little, I was heavily surprised, but at the same time I was like, okay, we have Connor Murphy and the rest of the boys, and thankfully we got a one-timer with Nozen and Connor Murphy. So we have Connor Murphy, Derek Forber, um, Alice Petrovic, Manson, Kirill Miknov. L losing one guy isn't bad by any means. It is still bad, but it's minor. In the sense of like, you know, did we really deserve this? Prop not. Same time, it's all good. So now, by the way, we're now in a 5 on 4, however, since it was minor penalty then the major, since it got cleared off, the major penalty will stick regardless on how many goals is scored by the Boston Bruins, like how I explained it in my last video episode. Um, personally... And NHL right now, I wish they were double minors, but at least we got the lead with Kyle Connor. Pasternak, Bergeron, and DeBrusque are on the five on on are on the five on four line, as I would put it. But 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 I will say. This has been like a monster run. Don't get me wrong. And look at that. Another goal scored. Alright. And what's crazy is that Alex Petrovic and Adam Larson are paired up. Normally I would have Adam Larson and um, Connor Murphy paired up. And that 
Well, I, I don't, like, say what, how I want to say it, but it's all good. So look, got the big hit. Thankfully, well, not thankfully, look at it right here. Nose in to whatever I just did. What I, well, at the time, one timer was right there, was I was going up, went past it down, tried to shoot it right back up. Did not work. You might be thinking, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They have a right to score a goal. Um, now it's it, it was scored by Craig Craig C Craig Craig C Craig C. Now a bad discipline penalty was called. It was a charging. So now it's a five on three. That basically means that a major was already been enforced while a minor minor penalty is now enforced even if we are constantly scoring goals that's Manson scoring a goal hmm. anyway so major penalty was already being like being played and the minor penalty stacked on top of the major penalty which basically means um it basically means that I will not explain that again I will explain that in my la last uh, and I already explained that in a previous video you could go check that like right here Boom, Nicholas Backstrom, goal. This is like a, out of a few times that I've actually like scored goals like this. Even though I've done it many, many times. Many times. It's just like not my tea anymore and it's not my best interest to keep on putting out this like repetitiveness in a way. So now we're actually going on to the um so we're gonna win this, okay, definitely. In the next video, depending on what happens, it is a real possibility that we can face the Columbus Blue Jackets in the Eastern Conference Finals. You heard that right, the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, if you don't know about the uh, current Conference Finals matchups we've been having, we have had against the Montreal Canadiens in the previous season, actually. Which is a fact, and I I will fa fact check that real quick. Also, this is what I do to make sure I'm right. So we did... It went from New York Islanders to the Montreal. Which one? No. Montreal. No, it went from New York Islanders to Tampa Bay Lightning to the Columbus Blue Jackets or Pittsburgh Penguins. And let me tell you, that is the most unreal thing. Here's why. And as you can see, Kala is just saving the heck with those pucks and being shot at him. Anyway, the Pittsburgh Penguins, out of the history of them, they have won, done a two-peat twice, which is great. However, 
as a penalty is being called. They have not, they have tried to do it only one time. That was back in 2008 and 2009. And <laughs> another game misconduct. This time is from Alex Petrovic for charging. Thankfully, this is not like in the early stages, but. It's like right now. So like, yeah. I mean, isn't it crazy, isn't it? Like, anyway. So I personally think it would be nice to, you know, to think about what we're doing. Now another penalty is being called. Hmm. This is against uh, more so. Hold on. Anyway, yeah, so we have a major penalty stacked upon two minor penalties. So now, you are looking like in a raw, edited way. I had to look at the penalties within the third period, and oh my god... Derek Forber got a game misconduct along with a charging. And then that's how it worked for Alex Petrovic, a game misconduct and a charging major. So that would mean since the third the third line in in itself is non existent because Coral McNobb is theoretically well is technically bumped up to the second line and it just works out it just r literally works out in, a, in my favor not in my favor but in a good way so and then I just keep on doing that So, yeah. Crow McNobb. So now that happened. So, thankfully, this is just 43 seconds and penalties end like this. Um, I do want to say one thing to you guys. This has been an amazing ride, like truly to the bottom of my heart. So, it's been sick, it's been awesome, now they're just trying to like get like some positive vibes, the boss rooms are just trying to score at least one goal, which will not happen. I will not score a goal. Alright, so the, for the third consecutive time, the London Monarchs are going to the Eastern Conference Finals for the third straight year in a row and with the possibilities taking on the Columbus Blue Jackets. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching. You are a legend of my book and as for me, I'll see you on the next one. And peace.